So welcome everybody. Today is August the 22nd, 2020, and you are listening to Channeling Career. So just a brief description of who Kriya is. Kriya is um, part of the, the Cryon So group who is um, doing, just really tuning the um, energy ley lines of Earth. That's what Kriya kind of um, does and specializes in. And um, so... Kriya came to me one evening and asked me to start channeling. Um, and so I did the best I could for, um, to, to get myself prepared. And so it's about you know, two, three years since that evening when Kriya uh, showed up in my bedroom. So here we are. The, the rest of the evening is I'm just going to lead everybody into a short meditation and whenever I feel the energy of Kriya um, really starting to come through me much stronger then I'll start the channeling and um, no idea what's going to come through it's um, uh, however my, my it is my understanding that um, it is not so much information that I'm channeling it's not really um, like words so the words is not as important as the energy that's being channeled through and behind the words so that's that's my understanding of um, my role in terms of channeling this is really channeling channeling the energy and it's kind of healing energy, healing energy that is going to uh, assist everyone in getting through this transition time. So let's begin. Let's begin by just um, tuning inward to ourselves. So let's just uh, take a deep breath in and let go. And do a few more deep breaths in just to get everybody in the mood of just breathing in deeply and then turning your attention inwards towards yourself and letting go of all the distractions outside. And just following the natural rhythm of your own breath. And as much as you can, just let go. Let go of your thoughts. Let go of any tension in your body. Just choose to be with yourself and with my voice. for the time being and just pay attention to your own breathing. Pay attention to what's going on inside your own body. And as you start to get more relaxed, And start to shift your focus away from your mind, away from your head, and shift it into your heart. Just put focus on your heart. And imagine that you can actually breathe in through your heart. Just imagine breathing in from your heart. Breathing in deeply into your heart, bringing in infinite possibilities into your heart. And as you breathe out, breathe out anything that does not support you to be in this moment. Anything that is distracting you, 
anything that may be distressing you from outside and just start to feel the peace within your heart and feel the rhythm, the rhythmic pumping of your heart. And choose to feel unconditional love for yourself. For some, this is easy. Choosing to love yourself unconditionally. For some, it's very easy. It's what they do all the time. For some, it may take a little bit of getting used to. Getting used to opening your heart to yourself getting used to letting go of any judgment, any worrying, and simply love yourself for no good reason at all, just because you choose to. And the more you breathe in through your heart, allow this feeling of unconditional love to start to grow. Feel this warmth of unconditional love flowing through your body. And with this unconditional love in your body, choose to join with Mother Earth. Send love to Mother Earth. And feel the unconditional love of Mother Earth returning to you a thousand times over. Feel this unconditional love that is flowing to you strongly from Mother Earth and from your own heart as well. And also send a beam of unconditional love to the sun, to Father Sky. And feel the sun returning your unconditional love thousand times over as well. You're always loved. Love is the currency of the universe. Love is the currency of creation. Nothing can be created if not out of love. And if you are alive right now, that means you are loved unconditionally. Do not believe any otherwise. You may try to fool yourself by thinking that you only Deserve love if you can do X, Y, or Z. The universe does not agree with you. The universe loves you just the way you are. You don't have to do anything to earn that. Just by your being. Just by... You being here, having this consciousness, 
you already deserve and command the love of the universe and the universe is doing everything to show you this love that you deserve just like you only have to let mother earth know that you are here by communicating with her she already loves you the same with the sun the sun does not need you to be good or to own a house, or to own a car, or to be married, or to be not married, or to be young, or to be old, or to have 2.5 kids. Nothing like that. No condition. The sun loves you, regardless of what you have done and what you have yet to do has no condition that will turn the sun away from you. The sun's ray, the sun's energy, the sun's caresses, the sun's information, the sun's communication is always available to you. Even when you are not able to see the sun, all you have to do is intend to connect with the sun. And the sun would be able to connect with you, to shower you with all that it has to offer. And yes, you are that powerful. You may not be able to feel the sun's ray on your skin. Maybe because you're indoors or maybe because it's nighttime where you are at right now. But all that the sun can offer you is still available to you. All you have to do is to connect to the sun and allow the sun's energy to come in. The sun's energy has many nuances. There is only a fraction of what the sun is offering you that can be seen with your naked eyes. And the others, the others are there as well. Even though you may not see it with your eyes, you may not see the sun's ray. You may not see the full spectrum of what the sun is giving you. but you can still receive it just by intending to receive it. And this is important because sometimes when you cannot see the sun, you may feel that the sun is not available and you feel this darkness You feel this disconnection from the sun, but you are never disconnected from the sun because the sun's ray bombards the whole earth all the time. Even when the side of the earth where you are, where you think you are physically, cannot see the sun right now, the sun can still see you. The 
because the sun and the earth works together. It's like the sun activates the earth and the earth reflects all that the sun has to offer to you. All of the full spectrum of what is within the sun. Within the sun, there is actually a communication from all over the galaxies, from all of creation, being embedded in the sun. Allow yourself to receive those information as well. Allow yourself to receive them without any expectation, without expecting that you'll be able to decipher all of the information that is within the sun. Some of those information is not for your conscious mind. It's for your DNA. It's for the functioning of your cells. Your body knows how to use those information. And your soul is actually directing all of that. It is interesting that we actually are receiver. We are receivers of all the information of the sun. We receive those information and it changes our body and our body mutates ever so slightly depending on the information that is being transmitted to us through the sun. That is why it's important to be out in the sun. It is important to allow your face, your arms, different parts of your body to see the sun, to communicate with the sun. But if you cannot communicate with the sun, with your physical body, then you can still communicate with the sun by your intention. Because some of what the sun can offer you It's already transmitted to the earth and you can get it from the earth. The earth and the sun work together. They are two parts. And your body, it's in the middle receiving Some of the energy from the sun is directly being absorbed and understood and communicated to Mother Earth. And Mother Earth, through all of its wisdom, meridians, and also with all the different time capsules that has been left on earth, placed on earth deliberately by different 
your race of your ancestors by the ancestors who have contributed to your DNA. They are now being opened because the sun's ray is being used this way. To transmit that energy, to start to open those doors, to start to activate your body and your DNA in ways that you do not consciously know right now. But if you're open to it, and the more you're open to it, the more you would be able to allow these changes to come inside your body. To work with your body, to work with your energetic body. to work with your consciousness. It is all done out of love. It is all controlled by you. You always have the choice to allow your DNA to be activated. The extent that it can be activated, it is all by your choice. So search within your soul, search within your heart. What are you? open to receive? What are you open to change? Are you open to change? If you're open to change, and just hold that thought in your heart and welcome in the codes, the changes that is being offered to you now. Not just from the sun, but from Mother Earth as well. Because we picked today. Today is an important day. It's an opening of a time capsule. A lot of things have shifted today. We want you to know that Things are going to shift much faster now. We have passed a milestone and for those of us who are within the Council of Earth You really get to that. And we have taken note of the readiness of the human collective. Did we know that this will happen? We don't. 
we can only see the probability. It was a good probability, but it was not certain. And now it is certain. We know because you have passed it. You have actually surpassed it. So you can actually really feel the rejoice. If you can feel on that joy that we from the other side of the veil can feel. You may think or feel that the changes into fifth dimension had been slow. But it, it was not. It was not slow at all. Considering what you have gone through, the shift is actually going as quickly as it possibly can without breaking, without being catastrophic. Today is a milestone, it's a great day, and we are very happy for you. Because we on the other side of the veil cannot step in and change things for you. That's not our job. Our job is to support you and you are still in the driver's seat because that is what you have chosen to do. We just want you to feel that joy in your heart. We can feel you, we can feel all of you, all of you who are listening to this now and listening to this at a time that is different from now. just want you to know that there's nothing to worry about.
it is going to be a change. There is going to be a change. And I and we know that humans do not like change, even if it's a change for the better. And we don't expect you to like this one any more than any other change that you have gone through. But we want to assure you that you have already made it. If you're listening to this, then you have already made it. Let all of the old history go. Let all of the history of your lineage go as well. It is now time to let go of the struggle. Your great grandparents have struggled. Your grandparents have struggled and your parents have struggled. But you, you who are listening to this, struggle no more. Let go of the struggle. Expect ease, expect smooth. Hold on to the joy of today. Today is a joyful day. Hold on to this joy and allow this joy to carry you through the next wave of change. For change is inevitable. Do not look at change. Do not look at the old system crumbling down as bad in any way. They have to crumble for the new to come along. Just like if you want to build a better house, you have to tear down the old house first. Don't try to build the new on top of the old. It does not work very well that way. Allow the old to completely come down and know that even with all of that destruction going on around you, 
that you are going to be taken care of because you are the one that's going to take care of you. Maybe not you on the physical level, but as you at the galactic level, that is you at the interdimensional level. You're the one that is going to take care of you and make sure that that transition is going to come about in the best possible way. So let go of that struggle. The more you expect struggle, the more you allow struggle to continue. And we just want to remind you that struggling is optional. Allow it to be easy. Allow it to be joyful. Because we, we only see the joyful parts. We feel the joyful parts. We feel the part of you that resides in joy. And we know them. Can we work with the joy of you? So we want you to feel it. To be in your heart. And remember this moment. This is the moment. When easy is available, when joy is available, and in the days to come, when you look back to this moment, to today, you will understand what this means. You're the one that's creating your reality. You have been creating reality in hardship, in struggle. And the world has not been very supportive. Expect the world to be a lot more supportive.
So let go of struggle. Just let it all go. Thank you very much, struggle. Sad to see you go. Or not. And welcome, simple. Welcome, joy. Welcome, support. Welcome for your ability to shape the world as you want it to be. You have earned this right. For all who are hearing this right now, you have earned this right to shape reality to what you wish it to be. So allow all the struggle to slide off. Slide off your shoulders. Slide off your heart. And expect expect the world to work with you in the best way possible. If you see other people struggling then know that they don't need to struggle. Struggling is a choice. It is just that most people expect to struggle. In the old energy, yes, struggling is normal. In this energy now, struggling is a choice. And because you have free will, so you are still free to choose that or not. And whenever you slip into that mode yourself, Whenever you feel yourself struggling, then stop. Stop everything. Stop everything right there and then and just let go of the struggle. And choose again. Choose simple. Choose joy. Choose ease. And remember and know that you have a choice. And we celebrate your choice.
that is all our message for you this evening. We love you so much. We just want you to know that you have passed a marker today and you have outdone all our expectations. You have crushed all the probabilities and you are here. We thank you so much. for co-creating all of this, for being a part of this grand opera that every one of you has a role to play. And our role here is to love you and support you. And we are always available for you. just think of us and we will be available for you. You are loved unconditionally. We love you and we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.